Hello, welcome to a getting started video. Today, we cover Wharton Research Data Services, commonly known as Words. We'll go over how to access Words, what's in it, and how to do a search and download results. Let's get started. Go to the Purdue Libraries website to locate our A to Z list of databases. Words is on the list. Words is a business intelligence, data analytics, and research platform affiliated with the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania. It aggregates 600 plus datasets from over 60 data vendors, but Purdue does not subscribe to all Words datasets. Purdue Words access is typically reserved for faculty and graduate students. Purdue faculty and graduate students need to register for an account. The account is then verified by a Campus Words administrator. Undergraduate access is available with a faculty sponsor or through a class account for a specific course. This is the Words homepage. All of Purdue's subscribed datasets are visible here. If you don't see a Words dataset, we don't have it. All Words datasets are searched the same way. They all have a standardized web-based query form to extract and output data. For this example, we'll use the CRSP CRISP dataset. CRISP contains stock price and volume data for major USA markets back to 1925. Notice how some of the data choices are grayed out. Grayed out means Purdue doesn't have access to it. We'll click on Stock Security Files. There are options to pick from. We'll go for Monthly Stock File. This is the heart of the words interface, the standardized query form. Before searching, let's get oriented to a few things. We're just touching the surface. The overall words query process is in four steps. Easy, right? You start by choosing a date range. You apply company codes. You choose search or query variables. And you select a query output. A couple of other things to point out. Variable descriptions. Click on this to get a list of every variable you can use to search. CRISP is actually pretty forgiving. Some words databases have hundreds of variables. Manuals and overviews, knowledge base, and data preview are also helpful. Let's be real here. Words and CRISP assume you're an expert researcher. We're going to do a relatively simple search to demonstrate how to use CRISP and, by extension, any words database. First step, we'll enter a date range. It's going to be 2021 January to the end of 2022. Next step, we'll enter a few companies. There are options, but we'll go for the easiest. Ticker search. Let's do Apple, Amazon, and Walmart. Third step, we're going to enter query variables. For this demonstration, we'll go for three. There's a long list of variables to choose from. We'll select ticker. Let's also go for price. And let's go for volume. One thing to point out, if you ever have a question about a variable, you can click on the question mark. A pop-up window will tell you what the variable is or is not. We've got our variables. Our last step is going to be select query output. Typically, you're going to want to do Excel or CSV, but for on-screen purposes, we're going to choose tab delimited text. And then you submit your form. This will take a few minutes. Words is going to give us a heads-up display showing the status of our query. When success pops up, we'll want to go down to the results section of the interface and click on output files. There it is, monthly stock price information, 2021 to 2022 for Apple, Walmart, and Amazon. Price, volume, ticker. If you want to do a new search, you could change variables like date. You could also do different companies, or you could choose different query variables. We'll just do one of these quickly for proof of concept. Let's go for ask or high and bid or low and add them to our previous results. This time we'll output to HTML. 
the same sort of deal. Here it's running our query. Depending on server traffic or the size of your query, it could take a while. Success. Let's obtain the output files. As you can see near the top of the screen, there we have the ask or high price and the bid or low price. Now you know how to access words, what's in it, and how to do a search and download results. For more information and other business-related resources, visit the Parish Library homepage. If you have any questions, please contact the Parish Library at pairlib at purdue.edu. Thanks for watching.